Before God calms the storm, he has to calm you. He has to calm you before he'll ever calm the storm. Do you know why? Because Jesus doesn't care about your storm. He cares about you. He cares about you. He doesn't want to see you going through this. He doesn't want to see you panicking. But before he's just going to stop the storm, he wants to get to you first and say, no, 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 stop looking at the storm. Look at me. Calm down. I've already overcome this. I've already taken care of it. See, his grace and love is so big that he will always meet us right where we are in the middle of it. But it's so big, his love is so big that he'll never leave us in the middle of it. I don't know where you are in your storm right now, whether you're in the middle of it, you're heading into one or you're coming out, but I know that it's going to keep happening over and over and over. There's nothing we can do about that. But what we can do is learn to shift our focus from everything that's going on around us back to the one who's already overcome it all and say, you know what? I'm just going to focus on you. I'm not going to worry about anything. I'm going to pray about everything. I'm going to tell you what I need. I want to thank you for what you've done. See, it, it may not make the storm go away, but it's going to help you get right through it. So many times when we focus on the storm, it seems like it lasts forever. But have you ever noticed that the storm always ends right when you stop worrying about it? Is that, is that a coincidence? Or is that how God works? That you were never intended to worry about that storm. That that storm was never meant to change the plan. The plan was still to get to the other side. See, I used to get upset when I would read the Bible in the New Testament and it would call me a sheep. It would refer to me as a sheep because I don't want to be a sheep. I want to be like a cobra or a liger or something cool. But then I realized one day uh, if I was going to climb a mountain and needed like an animal to carry all my gear, would I pick a sheep? No. If I was going to go on like an 80 mile trail ride, would I ride a sheep? No. Do you know why? Because sheep are not load bearing creatures. They were never meant to carry any weight. What God was trying to tell us is that he's the good shepherd. We're the sheep. We were never meant to carry anything. As soon as you feel the weight of the world, as soon as you feel the issues weighing down on you in life, guess what? That was never meant for you to carry. You can give it to the shepherd. It was always his job. When the Bible says, don't worry about anything, pray about everything. What it means is don't worry about anything, pray about everything. It was never yours to carry. The storm was never meant to steal your focus. You see, Christians are really, really good about praising and thanking God before the storm. And we're really, really good about thanking him afterwards. We just seem to drop the ball in the middle. In the middle is what we call regular everyday life. That storm is going to shape you into who you are once you get to the other side. But you don't ever have to focus on it. See, even Peter, when he walked on the water and he sank, in my opinion, that's a good time to stop the storm, Jesus. Uh, your best friend is sinking. Stop the storm. But he doesn't. He picks him back up, says, oh, you have little faith. He walks back to the boat with him, and then the storm stops. You see, sometimes you're going to have to walk back to the boat a little wet. Sometimes you just got to go through the storm. But guess what? Jesus never left his side. And he's never going to leave your side either. He's never failed anyone. He won't start today with you. He loves you.